In this exercise, we are going to explore the idea of virtual touch. We try to use, for example, your finger or your, your body to touch something virtual on the screen. So let's begin by creating our project. I give it the name called Touch001. And then we tidy up the screen, except that we still keep this palette browser. And for this one, instead of choosing tools or the UI, we're going to use something here with the name called Techniques. And under the Techniques, there's one with the name called Motion Sense that we are going to use it to sense motion in front of the camera. We can close the palette window. And as you can see, it will automatically open your webcam already. And normally, I will just click inside this motion sense, which itself is a touch designer program. And inside, there's an already video device in that turn on. And in order to have a better control of your video, so normally I would just make it inactive and to send in the video image from the project one. So this is the project one. So I will use my video device in. Before sending the video to the motion sensor, so we're going to first flip it because in our computer, this is not a mirror image. So if you connect this and do a flip in the x direction, that's horizontally, we can have this form of flipping. And then after the flipping, we connect it back to the motion sense. And if you take a look of the image when you move, so that's actually an output of a value over here, and which is essentially sent out in as a chop. So we define a dummy chop that's a null chop that to capture this value with the name called trigger. So when you move, so that one will turn to one. So when you have no motion or very slight motion, it remains zero. So now we already complete this one. So when, whenever you move, so you have a trigger of one in this particular value. To make use of this one, we can prepare two image as a chop. So we also introduce like text over here that we can use to text image and then to choose from either one of them according to this trigger. So for the text, I can give a name for the initial one like off and the second one with the name on. We can further customize like the resolution. And of course, you can also choose the font over here and also the color of the font. So we can pick up, for example, like an orange color. And with the font, we can also change the size to make it bigger, like 120. So you see something like this. And to play safe, some of the font that may not display properly with the automatics, we can always choose bitmap to ensure it's displayed properly. So for this one, I repeat the same step with the custom resolution, change the color of the font and make it bigger. 
also as a bit wet. So this is the two pieces of text that we have. And in order to pick any one of them, we'll go back to the switch command we have done before. So the first one which have a zero value and then the second one was supposed to have the one value so we can test by this so this is zero then if I put one so this turn to on zero go back to off so now we can turn on this viewer active and drag this trigger and release export chop to the index of the switch and we'll have this text ready and in order to have your text on top of your video image we can combine them by doing a simple composite so we have our flipped image and also our text and then we send it to the output window in the composite we can choose something like over or under we'll make sure that the text is on top of your image so we have used the under operator over here and the last step the final one is we fine tune the perform window and to make it a full screen with the opening size and do without the border so the testing will be something like this if you click on the perform window so whenever you move with some kind of action so you will trigger the on of the display so otherwise it will be just a uh, off signal so this is a very straightforward demonstration of this motion sense techniques using touch designer.